David. Dorian. Who do you think you are barging in like this? Sorry, force of habit. I need to speak to you. David, this isn't a very good time. I'm handling a very difficult situation. Thank you for stopping by. Leave. I can only stay for one drink, then I gotta go. David! Okay, what's so important? You had to come crashing through my front door. I went to that hospital gala. Oh, I'm so pleased for you. Now, if you don't mind, go. Where I saw Spencer propose to Blair, and she said yes. <clears throat> well, as appalling as I find that prospect, she's an adult, okay? Blair's capable of making her own decisions. That's it? I'm not pleased, but it pales in comparison to the situation I'm dealing with. Well, then you must be dealing with one hell of a situation if it makes Spencer and Blair pale in comparison. You know what? Maybe Balsam was right. What? Maybe Balsam was right? What would that punk be right about? Well, I ran into him over at the palace, and he kept going on and on about some sort of inane plot that you had hatched to make him break up with Adriana. Now, I didn't believe him, but the way you're acting... What? Am I acting as if I'm guilty of something? Dorian, trust me. You look like you could use some help, so if you tell me what it is that you did, I'll do everything I can to get you out of it. David, this is such nonsense. I haven't done anything. So you didn't create this situation? Uh, no, I didn't. And But you are right about one thing. I am upset, so if you would please just run along. <laughs> Nobody knows you better than me. I know how much you like to protect your girls, so if this situation is more important than Blair, then this situation must be about one of your other girls. I've got no idea what you're blathering on about. I, 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 and I have done absolutely nothing to try and break up Adriana and Rex, and i got to tell you, it really hurts me that you, you, you would even suggest such a thing. Dorian, I want to help you, but you've got to open up to me. There is nothing to open up about. She's a liar. You're a liar. How did you get in here? David! What? How could... Why? Why would you help this, this miscreant? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I would never stoop so low as to help a miscreant. What does that mean? Get out of here! Stop it! Both of you! Now, I need the name of the guy you hired to stalk Adriana. Tell me where to find him. Your mother hired me. You know I'm telling you the truth. No. Then why would she instantly change from hating Rex to loving him? Because she knew the whole thing would explode in his face. I want to talk to her. I want to talk to my mother. Fine. I think that's a good idea. you hired to break me and Adriana up and tell me now? Uh, Rex, about my nightclub? No, there's no nightclub. You didn't get anything out of her. David, you would betray me for a third-rate nightclub? I was going to make you a silent partner. Get out of here, both of you, okay? Get out of here now before I call the police. I'm going to the Landview Library and looking up... Mr. the word you called him. It's not going to be that easy to get rid of me. I won't leave till I get some answers. Well, this will be interesting. Dorian was so anxious to talk to you before, but now... I don't think she'll be so excited to hear what you have to say. Don't, please! Lord Residence. Rex?
Do you have her? Is she all right? She's not here. What? Dr. called one of those storage compartments. It's completely empty. She was probably never there. Well, somebody was here. There's a bag of food on the floor. Then that man who has her must have seen you. You... You must have tipped him off somehow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Make it my fault, Dorian. Okay, we both know you're the one who set this whole thing in motion. No, I didn't. And if something happened to Adriana, you are going to have to live with it for the rest of your rotten life. You know, Rex, maybe you should spend a little less time castigating me and a lot more time trying to find my daughter, the girl that you claim to love. If you would have let me bring the police in or the FBI, they would have had this place surrounded. They would have grabbed him when he made his move. We'd have Adriana. He'd be in custody by now. If that maniac had seen even one policeman, he could have killed her. Well, look at it this way. You would have lost a daughter, but you could blame me for it for the rest of your life. Who do you really think I would sacrifice my daughter just to get at you? That isn't what I meant. It better not be. But you have to admit, you've been a little obsessed with setting me up lately. It hasn't worked out too well for Adriana. So what do we do next? Other than going to the police. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look around. See if I can find something that tells us where they went. If I come up empty, I'll come back to your place. And we just wait? I can't talk anymore. If you kill me, you'll never get the money. Well, did I forget to mention problem C? The police, well, <laughs> yeah, they're kind of after me. You know, an SEC violation and a handful of other class one felonies. Now, if I get rid of you, a big head start on getting away. And with you out of the picture, there won't be any witnesses. I mean, I might end up in a little sleazy bar in some third world country, but I won't be in jail. Have you ever seen the inside of a jail cell? No, I have. Visiting my clients. It's not a nice place. But thanks to you, you, one way or another, are my ticket out. My mother's not gonna let you get away with this. Are you kidding? She six the cops on me, and they'll find out how she paid me to terrorize her own kid. So it was just a coincidence that you picked me up that night? Oh, I wouldn't call it a coincidence, exactly. I've been watching and waiting to see how your little drama with Rex was going to play out. Which was pretty easy when he decided to take you to that house on an empty stretch of beach. He was just trying to protect me. He said I was safe with him. Yeah, which you didn't buy thanks to me. I was scared. I didn't know what to think. I would made up my mind to grab you that night no matter what. But then... <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, but it was just unbelievable. When you knocked Rex out and went running off by yourself, I couldn't believe my luck. It's so much easier to deal with someone who's scared than someone who's angry. I guess Rex found that out the hard way. I can't believe my mother is responsible for all of this. Oh, yeah, she is. If it wasn't for her, you'd be a happy little cover girl. Without a problem in the world. I have to make it out of here. And get back to Landview so I can tell my mother that I'll hate her forever for doing this to me. Did you find anything out? Yeah. She was definitely being held at that storage unit. How can you be so sure? I found her hair thing on the beach. And she left this in a bag of food. She's trying to tell us where she is. She wears this all the time. She'll be all right, I promise. She better be. Because my life is over if she isn't. I don't understand. Why doesn't that animal call me? It's almost as if he's enjoying torturing me. He figures the longer he waits, the more likely you are to give him what he wants. You should have gone to that storage unit sooner. Yeah, and you shouldn't have played games with the money. If he had the money and Adriana, then my bargaining power would be over. This isn't some kind of investment you're protecting. This is your daughter's life. If So help me, if you accuse me one more time about not caring about my daughter's you're, well-being... You're what? You're what? You're what? Now, we can't get the authorities involved. And it's not just because it might be dangerous to Adriana. It's because you don't want them to know what you did. 
Now, I'm all you got. So you will take everything I dish out, and you will stop with the insults, because I swear to... That's him. Hello? It's time. I'm not agreeing to anything until I'm absolutely sure that Adriana is safe. I already told you she's fine. Not good enough. I want to hear her voice now. All right, hold on. She wants to talk to you. Make it short and sweet. Mom? Oh, Adriana. Darling, are you all right? He hasn't hurt me, but I'm scared. Oh, sweetheart, where are you? Do you know? I, uh, well... That's all you get. Now, here's the deal. Do you know the rest stop near Lantano County State Park? There's a rest stop uh, near Lantano County State Park? Right! Of uh, yeah, of, of course there is. I, I, know, I, I know exactly where it is. Uh, is that where you are? Is that where you have Just Adriana? Shut up and listen. You get in your car and go there right now. I know how long it takes to make the trip, so if you make any little detours or stops, I'll know that too. And what happens when I get there? It's very simple. You call your banker and you get him to do a wire transfer into my account. Once I know the money's there, I'll release your daughter. I'll be right there. And remember, no cops. You come alone or Adriana's dead. What do he say? He said... He said he'll hand over Adriana as soon as the money is transferred to him. Fine. Yeah, and he's been so trustworthy up to now. You're the one who told me to do exactly what he said! No, 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 no. I told you to tell him you do what he said. No! I have to go. Listen to me. You don't know what you're walking into. He may not be at that rest stop when you get there. There could be instructions for you to go to a second location. He could grab you and take you with him. That doesn't matter! If I don't go there, heaven knows what he's going to do to Adriana. You can leave in two minutes. What? Our plan. I'm going to tell you the plan. If I don't do exactly as he says, he's going to kill Adriana. You've got to promise me that you are not going to follow me. I sure hope you know what you're doing. I do. Though I know you won't believe me until I come walking back through that door with Adriana. Okay. I mean, he's not a psychopath. I know that. He just wants the money. We can fight about it on the way. What are you talking about? I'm riding shotgun. Mother's on her way. It'll all be over soon. Why do you still need the gun? Look, I know my mother, okay? She won't involve the police. She'll come alone. Yeah, that's what she said. But people don't always do what they say they're gonna do. And if that happens tonight, I'll be ready.